Hey, hey, beautiful collective. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new here, I welcome you. We are talking about, you know, kindred relationships, uh, caring relationships and separation, things that you thought were, you know, meant to be, obviously, in separation at this time. We're talking about kindred spirits, kindred relationships, close connections, and trying to figure out what is going on with your counterpart, who you thought you were going to have the end all be all with. I want to thank you guys so very much for your views, for your comments, for your likes, and for your subscriptions. I welcome to all you new subscribers know that it's a hard subject, guys. Know that these stories will not resonate for every single person. Usually there is a generality, though. So we're going to go on that. I want to directly ask Spirit, you know, what is going on with the counterpart of my collective at the present moment? What are the energies surrounding these situations, Spirit? Hmm. Well-being. Blessings. Clarity. Something getting clarity on a family situation. Someone trying to you're receiving blessings, okay? You're very fertile. Someone's getting the truth about a family situation. Ooh, there's no forgiveness for? They cannot forgive something. They've gotten a truth about a family situation. They are not forgiving. You're healing. So what's ever going on over here, this family situation... They've received some kind of truth about or gotten some clarity. There is no forgiving this family for something. What's going on? They've seen some kind of truth. They are trying to protect... Uh, kind of protection something they're going through a transformation what the heck is this about trying to find themselves again or trying to like heal from something what is this person experiencing well they're getting clarity about who they love i can tell you that it's like they're trying to transform magic all ends well they're taking a deep breath they're taking a break or a rest because they've believed in the smoke and mirrors they're trying to find themselves again they're on some kind of rest they've gotten some kind of clarity it's like Something been revealed. Let's ask the tarot. What is this person's family done? What is this family situation that was smoke and mirrors and illusion? What is the smoke and mirrors, the illusion and concerning this family situation? They're not some family not forgiving them or they're not forgiving some family. They've gotten the truth about a family and there is no forgiveness there. They're finding out it was smoke and mirrors. They're finding, they're trying to find themselves again. They got lost. What did this family do? Ooh, some kind of ending? Or a death? Something to do with their reputation or high honor and respect. It's like, Protecting what? Oh, 
clarify this empress and the lovers everything changed something is ended or they're guided listening to their intuition I don't know. It was a lie, an illusion. This other lover tried to pretend that they were the Empress or they were trying to hide some deception. This is the smoke in the mirrors, this illusion, the other lover. What the Jesus hell is this? The Emperor looking at a deception that this other lover has told. It's like it was an illusion. They're like sorry or apologetic for... I don't know. an illusion they were lying I think that this emperor is saying that this other lover told them a lie about you they're sorry that they hurt this abundant person they're sorry that they what is the secret here that this other lover was oh, they were cheating it was a lie it was an illusion it was theft or hiding something what is this other lover done and why is there no forgiveness what has this other lover done? Ooh. They lied about you. They lied about this single person. They lied about their stability. They lied about... They lied about you. It was an illusion. They tried to pretend that they were you. They tried to pretend that it's a lie. It was a they lied about you, the temperance angel. They lied about you, this false. It was a lie they could have lied about you this family member it's a family secret what did they lie about Cause this person to walk away maybe it was Jesus they told this person to walk away from the past they're not balanced they're they're lying they're this person is trying to change the story up here guys this other lover is trying to they thought it could have been their empress they thought uh, this other lover is telling him about they went to a tarot card reading this other lover was trying to say that they were the empress trying to say that to walk away from you because you
They were trying to pretend they were you. They lied. They lied. This other lover lied about you. This other lover was turning the tables on you, collective. And now they want, they see through this uh, smoke in the mirrors, the illusion. They want to apologize. They were gaslighted. They were fed a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of lies. And now it could have been a family. told this person a bunch of bullshit about you. They tried to pretend that they were you. They could have said, I went and got a tarot card reading done and they told me that I was the Empress and they told me that I was your twin flame and I told you, the, they're lying. They lied. You know, I, I don't even like using the word twin flame and that's part of the reason why I've been saying it since I started this channel I remember last January I did a a year ago I did a video about this thing and I remember saying then and there I said I never remember God coming down and telling me I was in a twin flame union if he did, I don't remember it. <laughs> for real. And that is part of the reason why. And I've been saying that for a whole year. That even if I believed that I was in one, I certainly would not be broadcasting it around. Because of this bullshit. It's used as a weapon by negative energies as a guise. It is trickster energy. It is too easy to lie about, deceive people about. This emperor was deceived by a lie by someone telling them a falsehood. That's why I don't even like the term, man. It's like, why would you give ammunition to two people? Too many people are too eager to tell people that they are some kind of twin flame. Why would you do that? You're a target. It's like wearing a bullseye on your back. Let me F with you. I, you know, that's why I don't believe in that crap, guys. Because, you know, I'm sorry I don't. Because even if it is the truth, let's say it is the absolute truth. Why would you tell people and become a victim to someone else's deception? The minute you say you're anything. You're a target. Just saying. That's why I don't. I would never tell anybody that. And quite honestly, I, I would tell you. But quite honestly, I don't ever remember God, Spirit, or my angels ever coming to me and saying, Frankie, you are a twin flame. I'm sure I would have remembered it. I've had uh, information given to me about other things concerning relationships, close connections, but I never ever remembered making that declaration. No. And I did many videos about people should not be going around saying that shit anyway because it makes you a freaking it's like carrying a bullseye on your back. Oh, let me mess with you. Mm. That is a prime example. Why? Because you have too many deceivers out there, guys. Tricksters. Hello. Deceivers. 
feeding bullshit to emperors and empresses, tricking them into thinking it is. It's a target on your back. Look, I cannot make it up. It is, you're a walking target. It's telling people falsehoods. It's telling people promises. And that is what this uh, other lover has done. Manipulated. Oh, this is not your temperance angel. And the truth of the matter is, even if it is a close connection, a caring connection, they were deceived by a fool who told them, a trickster told them, oh, I went to a tarot card reading and they told me that I was this empress and they told me I was your twin flame. It's a lie. It's telling people what they want to hear and that's what this fool did. Listen to a lie. It's falsehood. It's based upon falsehood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Told them, walk away, walk away. I can protect you. You have no protection. Uh, it, it's bullshit. I'm just putting it out there, man. I'm getting so fed up with this stuff. That's why, like, I lose my temper. I, I lose my temper. Because... It is just a, another tool of the enemy to confuse. The least they know, the better off you are. For real. Like in these situations. You know, a lot of people come to tarot to find out. And Spirit's got no issue with that. You want to find out what's going on. Spirit's like, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here is what is going on. Damn. You know, even if you've got a, here is an example. Even if you have a damn good job and you go around and you tell people, I've got a damn good job. My boss treats me good. I get paid X amount of dollars. Do you want to see how many motherfuckers try to gouge you for that job? I was always taught, plead poverty, man. Never tell people all your business. And this is a prime example as to why. Whenever you got something good, somebody wants to take it from you. So the least said, the easiest mended. Now this person is feeling like a buffoon. And all it is, is to create derision and illusion, confusion. Whereas if you just shut your mouth in the first place about it, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Now it's a problem. What's going on? And it's not going to make a lot of people happy, but it is the truth. you got to learn to, like, set boundaries here. It's like, don't be so eager to tell people what you got, what you're doing, who you are, who you got in your life, all about your relationship, because... There's always some greedy motherfuckers sitting there rubbing their hands. Mm, really? Tell me more. That's what it's about. Good news in love. What's going on? Learning to love of self. Setting boundaries. You know, don't let everybody in. <laughs> don't tell everybody your news, your business. When you're happy, when you got love, learn to set boundaries. You know, there's a famous saying from the Bible that says, test the spirits first and then trust. 
That's why we're all blessed with our own intuitions. Because everybody's story is different from that of the next person. Silence is golden in many cases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? This person told the King of Wands a lie. Oh, I'm telling the truth. Uh, I am your true love. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And this Emperor King of Wands listened. Oh, you're going to be financially abundant with me. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> and this King of uh, Pentacles was focusing in on the coin. And now they're fighting over the money. Now they have created themselves nothing but an obstacle. I don't know. It's like they're fighting and arguing about the money. What's going on? Yeah, people get greedy. Maybe it's the family. Maybe it is someone in their family getting greedy with money. Maybe it is this other lover who got greedy with money. Saw this King of Pentacles as an opportunity. Ha ha, sudden wealth. That's why you should shut your mouth. This emperor here was, you know, bragging here. This is bragging rights. Talking about how much money they got, what they do, this, you know what I mean? How much, how much wealth they got. Oh, I got this, I got that. Well, boom, oh yeah, really? Tell me more. Somebody got greedy. Yike. Mm. Yeah. Test the spirits first, then trust. They shouldn't have trusted this. Now they're heavily burdened and they're stuck. That's the path they chose. What's going on? Hmm. Chose someone greedy just like them. That's truth. Fed their ego. Stroked their ego. Mm. <laughs> and they're wishing now they had got the truth. They're wishing now they had seen the truth before it was too late. But now they regret it. It could have been family. People that they were close to. It doesn't mean it's another lover. It could have been a family member. It could have been... Uh, uh, they listened. They took that hook, line, and sinker. What is going on here? Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Oh, yeah. It was an illusion. They bought a dream. Fell into an illusion. It was a smoke screen and uh, that they regret. They regret being a fool because they've heard something. They were told something. Oh, told you. This, they had a close connection, okay? It's the two of cops crossing the reed. They were too foolish and believed in illusion. Uh, started talking, maybe, you know... Soul the pipe dream. I don't know. At a distance. They refused to see. They were in denial. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know. Hmm. There you go. Yes. Oh, it was a scheme, was it? Mm hmm. Say no, well. I'm going to make somebody jealous. I'll, I'll, I'll make them chase after me. They'll be so damned angry. They'll come rushing after me. I don't know. They're angry about a, at a child. A selfish child. 
I'm telling you right now, a child is greedy here. I don't know if they have adult children. For the story that I'm reading here for today, it's like, I don't know if a child got selfish or they're angry now that they went to this other lover and that they started a relationship or something and now there is a child involved. Now they're angry. Refuse to see something about a third party situation. I'm telling you, it was giving. Now they're stressed out. Giving, 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 giving to a family. I'm telling you, they're stressed out in a family situation. Something shocking has come out. It is a betrayal. It was a magician energy. Ooh, ah. They thought was stable, but they're broke. It's their finances. It's their house. They were betrayed by a family situation. Just saying, yes, heartbreak. They thought they were stable and now they're not stable. They are broke. They were manipulated. They were cheated out of their money, their resources. Like I'm telling you. Now, if this particular person, I told you that it was a scheme, a plot, a plan. It's been coming up for days. They were, it was a way to cheat this emperor out of their financial resources. Greed. Financial greed. Made them worry about money. They got to worry about money now. They're extremely worried about money. Everything that this person has worked for, look how unstable they are. No wonder they want justice. They, everything they have put their time and energy into and in looking at the coin here. Greed. It, they got greedy. I'm telling you, somebody got greedy here. And it, it was a plot, a scheme. It was like probably involving this empress. And it's like... The real Empress. Had the real stability. Maybe this Emperor had real stability as well. This other people, these people that are close to them. Now it could have been another lover. It could have been family got greedy they didn't know that the empress was obviously stacked man i'm just saying like a lot of you may not have had money at the time even and it's like a lot of you've been working on your finances and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor and it's like so the greedy ones got greedy here over finance. It, it's over money. Somebody in their family connection got greedy with money. Something shocking has come out in the family. That has hurt this person very deeply. Let's backtrack a bit here first. That's why people should not be in their egos. You know, pride cometh before a fall. And it was like, 
you attract like if you're greedy and you go around you talk about oh i make x amount of money i've got this much money in the bank i got this i got this i got this be sure you're going to attract other greedy people that sit there seeing you as a dollar sign and that's who they attracted greedy people and lo and behold like that's how come in a lot of cases a true empress here whoever is the real empress it really doesn't matter whoever is so loving and nurturing and bountiful obviously was the real empress it's easy to see <laughs> thinking that this um other connections whether they be family whether they be um friends whether they be co-workers whether they be other lovers it really doesn't matter it is low vibrational energy people who cause smoke screens illusions okay we're talking that's why this person is not forgiving Maybe this person's family do not forgive them. It can be roles reversed. Maybe this person's family are not forgiving them for making the choices that they have made. It's like this person had stability. This person had financial resources. This person had the world by the tail and they got greedy. And maybe they did something to sacrifice their family. Maybe they did something to sacrifice their family's business for foolery, greed. Somebody got greedy here, man. It was either them who got greedy or this person's family got greedy. Either way, someone has unforgiveness. Like this is an unforgivable sin. At least at this time, because they have gotten the truth about a family situation. And they're saying, I'm not ready to forgive. I'm, and it could be roles reverse. It could have been this person's family saying, what you have done, I will never forgive you for. Bringing this into our household or our family, especially if they chose somebody who is very low vibrational and everyone can see that but this person it can be roles reverse guys it take it as resonates to your story but the bottom line what is consistent is somebody got greedy over money it was it could be family greed you know what i mean Oh, they don't want to lose their meal ticket. It can be roles reversed as well. It could be that this person got greedy with money, started spending all their money on low vibrational things and people, and now it's cost the family their business or the family business or the reputations or whatever. They were at one time well thought of in the community, their community. And now it's brought shame upon the family. It's brought shame upon the business. Shame amongst their family members. Take it as it resonates, guys, because it can go both ways. And that's why people shouldn't go around bragging who they are, what role they play, um, how much money they got. Because of greed, people get greedy. And it is a fool and their money soon part. So if you're, this person was going around being the high roller, spending big time spender, flashy Mr. Flash or Mrs. Flash. Careful. It's just do what you want, but spirit is saying, be 
careful. Do not be a target. Don't wear it. You know, like, flash is good. Bling bling is good. But you don't have nothing to prove to nobody. You don't have to say your personal finances. You don't have to say what you got, what you don't got. Everybody poking and prodding into your, your business. Keep it to yourself. Keep it private. You know what I mean? Shoot the shit about something else. People are very greedy and manipulative these days. Do not be a target for other people's greed. It is a harsh battle out there, man. Most of you already know this, but there are some still that are wondering why it's because people are greedy. People are selfish in the, the world. There is, you can't trust everybody. Test the spirits first and then trust. Don't just go into something naive like you're going to get burnt, man. We live in a corrupt society sometimes i gotta be real and the more you go around making declarations and flashing stuff around man it's like you're a target it's like you go to some foreign countries and they see you as a you know a tacky tourist oh someone to hit up you know what i mean it's no different in our own neighborhoods in our own families or around us it's like just be. You got nothing to prove. You don't have to tell people your business. And when they go prying, that's when you got to send up the boundaries. It's crossing the line. It's like, butt out. Stop being nosy. You know, I've had to learn to do that myself. Like, you know, for real. Everybody... When people are prying too deep into something, that's a red flag. Like, especially when it comes to your assets. Especially when it comes to what you got in the bank or, you know, there's a reason for suspicion. Take care and good luck.